Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. How are you doing guys? Hi and welcome back to What Did Make the Shelf? This is our third year, episode number 37. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit, not a lot, but I'm going to try to go through more titles and if you want me to post a separate stack of what didn't make the shelf on Instagram, leave a comment down below. And episode number 37, we have 12 titles, 14 if you count the triple, and one of them is a DVD that's a has four episodes of a TV show. And these are all for sale this time. None of them are going back on the shelf because if you watch December's, they all just went back on the shelf. So if one of us likes it, but the other one doesn't, it stays on the shelf. So if he likes um, Suburban, Suburban, uh, Arthur Papa Haggis, or whatever them that, and I don't, it stays on the shelf. If I want uh, talking dogs, they stay on the shelf. Yeah, they I do. love talking dogs. But anyway, my son loves, our son loves talking dogs. Anyway, I've ranted long enough. Here we go. We're starting off with a DVD. It is... Hannah Montana. Living the rock star life. This is from a Disney Channel original show uh, starring Miley Cyrus, Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter, aka Dolly Parton's uh, goddaughter. Um, you get the best of both worlds in this one. This is from 2009. It is 92 minutes. Like I said, there are four episodes and you get the best of both worlds and you put them all together. <laughs> But four episodes, it was fun to check out. Um, I used to be a, a teacher at a child care center, and one of my kids used to love to sing that song. So I'm like, ah, oh, let me check out the show. But anyway, it's not making the shelf. I gave it a two. I did not watch it. I didn't even care to. Because he is totally not interested. I am anti Hannah Montana. So, how so you got it? no best of both worlds. Nope. You didn't even get one the world. best of one world. I was just going to nope. say. But anyway, that is a super catchy song, by the way. Anyway, comment down below if you've seen Hannah Montana. I'm sorry if you did. Anyway, the next one is another DVD, and it is... Eleven, The Prophecy. Now, if you watch the movie, Joe, which you haven't, the number 11 is a significance. It talks about 11-11 and anything that happens on the 11th hour and anything that has to do with the number 11. I thought it was the number 2 or is this the prophecy uh, 2 and there's a number 1 that goes with it. But no, it's 11. Yep. It has something to do with the number 11. And the prophecy is from 2011. It is 90 minutes. So a man's destiny and the reoccurrence of the number 11. So it's a story about... a. Uh, a writer, I was going to say a man a writer, but it's a story of a writer who's a man, and he has a brother who is also a man. <laughs> the trail. What makes him a brother? The train is going off the tracks. But anyway, his fulfillment to the prophecy and the number 11 and what he has to do. Didn't make the shelf. No. I gave it a, dude, I just gave it a star. Honestly, <laughs> this is a star right here, but I would probably give it a one. I did not watch it either. I like possession films. I like religious style films. Films like that, like the number 23 or the actual prophecy, the other ones with Christopher Walken. There's a lot I of like. Bible in that, Bible reference. And I don't mind films like that. When it comes to horror and religious, I like that stuff like Stigmata and everything, but for some reason... That just didn't catch my eye. Mm -hmm. I watched a little bit of it one day and... Somebody dies. Spoiler. It didn't catch me. <laughs> <coughs> this next one. Oh, dear God. Oh, Jesus. Say a prayer for this one because they made seven others of this unholy film. So there are eight films all together and they are... Evil Bong. Yeah. The first one. <laughs> Evil Bong. This is from 2006 and is 86 minutes of garbage. I mean, absolute trash. The CGI on this, I almost said vase. 
because our son was looking at it. He's like, what's this? I'm like, that's a vase and a man just wants to cut it with a chainsaw. <laughs> but anyway, this bong once lit and inhaled whatever takes over your mind and spirit somehow and you die. And they made seven of us in the middle of the place. Do not waste your time, but if you want to watch it, well, chill in on the couch, go right ahead. If, if you would like it, hey, holla, leave a message yeah. on Instagram. Like, if you like stoner films, that is It doesn't year. get any more stoner than that. Yeah. I, I mean, anyway, 85, 86 minutes of blech. I gave it a 1.5, and I am not interested in the others. So don't sought out and find them for me. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I'm not into stoner flicks. All right, we're going to try to move right along. Uh, DVD. This is The Stir of Echoes 2, The Homecoming, with Rob Lowe. And this is from 2007. It is 89 minutes. Basically, it's a PSD film. So mm -hmm. this poor man, post-traumatic stress disorder, of experience act his experiences after coming home from Iraq and he sees things yep like violent things and it upsets him and the craziness ensues exactly <laughs> I took the words right out of your mouth and I gave it a oh geez I, I didn't even star this one either <laughs> I gave it about a 1.2 because it was like I saw this one years ago I didn't care for it really. I love the first film with Kevin Bacon. The second one, I saw. I found it at a flea market one day, and I picked it up to check it out. But it really wasn't for me. It wasn't similar to the first film. You know, it has that you know seeing visions kind of thing. But that's about it. It's I, not I really literally fun. pulled the first one on Blu-ray that we have. It's right there. Yeah. I'm nice. gonna check that one out soon. But that one did not make the shelf. Yeah. There wasn't I mean, really a story to tie me into it. It was just kind of all over the place. Yeah, I give it a 1.5. But anyway, but anyway, this next one. I, I had trouble saying this if you saw the pickups video. Yeah, and this is In You Ho. <laughs> In You Yeah, what it says. In You Ho. With the. Oh. It's got with a, the slip. It, it comes with a case. Yeah. <laughs> it comes with that protective covering. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is from 2021, 2020 sequel. Uh, it is 90 minutes, and it's a tale of two men telling stories. One is blind, and the other is severely malformed, so he has to wear a mask. And they team up, and the, the, the deformed one is a great dancer, and the blind one is a great uh, musician. He plays the, I forget what it's called. It looks like uh, like a banjo type thing. I'm yeah, sorry. it's one of those um, like Asian guitars. I forgot what they're actually called. It's an Asian guitar? Yeah, but there's an actual <laughs> name for it. Yeah, them. there is. But anyway, this isn't music class. All right, I gave that one actually a 1.5 because the story was interesting. It unfolds quite nicely towards I would say towards halfway so if you watch the first 15 minutes just stick with it it gets kind of interesting and then you see how uh, the father did that because mm -hmm. he was greedy and he wanted it for himself so he's take whatever you want I want your unborn so he takes the unborn and the unborn is um, no. I was gonna say malnourished he is malformed I I am malnourished What'd apparently I need some coffee I said I gave it a 1.5. Okay. And now I'm giving it away. I'm giving it off the shelf. Mm hmm Anyway, this next one goes out to Movie Hunter. Alex. For we finding it. We found this one at, at Bull Moose. So thank you so much for this gem. And now every time I see this title, if you know Boy Meets World. When this boy eats girl. Every time I see that title, Boy Eats Girl. It's not very graphic but this is from 2005 it's 80 minutes a mother um finds and then uses a book it's like a devil's spell book uh to bring her dead son back to life but she fails to read the warnings what happens when you do the spell and it's not uh it's not good he becomes a zombie and 
hungry for basically flesh and blood. So the book was damaged, so she could never see the warnings, and now they got to try to un undo it. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's about it. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, but thanks, but no thanks. I've never seen that title before. Leave a comment down below if you've ever heard of Boy Eats Girl. We do like our zombie films, but not this one. All right. Mm, give it. Number seven. I gave it a deuce. <laughs> I gave it a two. Boy Eats Girl. Number two. Mm. All right. Number seven. We got about 13 of these. We're and done. it is The Lazarus Effect. The Lazarus Effect. I actually seen this one before. I didn't really remember it, so I'm like, ooh, this is very interesting. This is from 2015. It is 83 minutes. Uh, evil will rise. Mm -hmm. So this is another thing you should not attempt. Another reason why you shouldn't bring back things that are dead. First they experiment with a dog and then um, events happen which bring them to test it on a human. Mm -mm. For shame. Don't do that. Don't do that. But anyway. I gave it a 2.5 because it was very interesting, but it's a good one-time watch. It is very freaky towards the end. Uh, the woman that comes back, spoiler, the person, thing, woman, dog, cat, mouse, rabbit, whatever that comes back, I don't want to try and spoil it, but whatever comes back is not the same. It is completely possessed and terrible. Similar to Pet Cemetery. Mm hmm Yes. Because they do start out with a dog. Mm hmm But anyway, check it out. It's a worthy watch. 2.5. Yeah. I give that one probably a 2.5 as well. I've seen it, again, years ago when me and Marie first watched it. It was uh, something I got in a horror pack a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I liked it. It was good, but it's nothing I would rewatch. Yeah, probably like five years ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. It's been a while. Long, long time ago. Okay, the next one is a triple feature. The title got us hooked, but no. Don't be fooled by it. It is Red Riding. Red Riding. Special edition, my butt. Yep. It's, uh, it's, this is actually a trilogy of films. It's 1974, 1980, and 1983. 1974 is 102 minutes. 1980 is 93 minutes. And 1983 is 100 minutes. 1974 is the best one. That's the first one. The last one is the second best one. And the second one is the dump of the trilogy. <laughs> the worst, we'll say. But um, basically, it talks about girls, young girls that have been murdered, and they go into solving the crime. And the second one has nothing to do with the first one. Spoiler. But, and then the third one kind kind of takes the box and tries to fold it nicely. But, mm -hmm. eh. It was okay. What did you give it? I gave it an overall one because I gave 1974 a 1 1.5. That was the best one. Uh, 1980 I gave 0. 0.5 because it was the worst. And then 1983 I gave a 1. I'm going to give it a collective one just because like there was really no, the story wasn't really that good. I thought they would have went more into the whole... Each case. Yeah, but they really didn't. There was multiple girls in the first one. Yep. And then there was... Um, Another girl that got... Multiple yeah. girls in the, in the second one. Now, this is a tough content for some people. I mean... It's really disturbing to hear that people would actually do these things. It's about child abduction. Yeah, and such, yeah. So if that's not for you, just fly right over it. Just pass yep. over. And this next one, I actually passed right over. Yep. But I gave um, it overall a one as well, like I already said. But this next one, it's all you. Uh, this I watched last week, and it's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Aftermath. It is... Uh, a 2017 film, 92 minutes. Um, it's based on a true story. And it's pretty much about an um, uh, air traffic controller that's like trying to get the computers up. He's not watching two planes 
on the computer and you know he tries to he starts noticing that they're gonna crash into each other he tries to correct them but didn't correct them correctly and spoiler both planes crash but it happens right at the beginning of the film and come to find out Arnold Schwarzenegger his wife and daughter was on one of the planes oh. so it comes down to all the grief that Arnold Schwarzenegger deals with with his wife and daughter dying in the plane crash and all the grief that happens with the air traffic controller that caused the death of a couple of hundred people and what happens with his family and then how both of them intertwine later on oh, in the, the aftermath of this of, of a plane crash and yeah, it's a good movie crash. but it's it's a heavy film so it's not something I would rewatch again mm. so because of that I liked it I really enjoyed it I would give it a three honestly but it's not nothing I would watch again it's a one time watch it's one of those kind of you know heavy on the soul kind of film so mm -hmm. it's just like I didn't really care to watch it a second time but I would say it's a good one time watch for anybody all right this next one was a blind buy I don't think anybody wanted to buy it but he bought it for me I think he they were trying to uh, go off of diary of a wimpy kid but it is dear dumb diary and I'm gonna be a dumb dumb and I'm gonna purchase it I, I got it for a dollar I was gonna say you probably got it for a dollar dumb deal right very really. dumb. But anyway, it's from 2013 and it's 84 minutes. Uh, it's a bit of a musical, too much of a musical. I didn't really like the music. I thought it had bad singing and they didn't really have much musical talent, but it is for kids. So if you have like a 10 or 11 year old daughter, she's probably going to love it um, because uh, it's about school being popular and liking boys, girls, or the opposite sex. And carrying out good deeds to help out others so it has a nice message in it mm -hmm. it's pretty good but i gave it a one that's it but the music in it was horrible because i walked in the room a couple of times and the music was bad he's like what are you watching i would have shut this off yeah i'm like eh, i want to check it out was not good. diary of a wimpy kid it's is better way better except for the fourth film uh what was that better. film i checked out earlier it was a uh, middle high oh the middle school something I, it's one of those dollar tree canadian films that one actually does a better job of trying to be like diary of a wimpy kid so yeah a little uh mention no of that musical. one yeah that one's more of a fun prank one this yep. is more of a girly it's a film for girls if you like the american girl films or films like that you'll probably like this one it'll be a gym yeah even the music because 11 10 year olds the, yeah. yeah they're not they too, don't know they don't know better uh, yeah they're, they're like yeah their voice is okay and it's like dude they won an oscar uh, anyway <laughs> this next one is bayou caviar it has cuba gooding jr in it mm -hmm. i actually watched him on was it reading rainbow Mm, I was don't he know. Reading Rainbow? No, he wasn't. Correct me if I'm wrong. If he was or wasn't. No, Lavar Burton was on oh, Reading yeah, Rainbow. He was. This is from 2018. It is 111 minutes, and it's a story of an underage girl that gets tricked into being used for another's benefits. So this is uh, high content for underage girls, and you can put two and two together. Or one and one together, and you can figure out what's going on with that. So if you don't really uh, like that type of content, you can just pass right over it. And I gave it a two. I never saw it. Didn't want to. Wasn't mm. my thing. Yeah. It's an okay story, but in the end, things kind of wrap up. Yep. And then the last one. The last one. Is Hangman with Al Pacino and Brittany Snow with the slip thank you sir that's my vanna right there you know how vanna turns the letters he mm -hmm. slides the slip mm -hmm. and I'll show you javanna that. no no giovanna no johanna no josephine no anyway uh this is from 2017 it is 98 minutes uh i actually liked it more than joe but i give it a one-time watch uh it's the a man's past haunts him and he becomes the hangman and he commits these murders 
and the, the story unfolds while the police detectives try to figure it out before the next murder happens. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. Number 12. Would you like to show What'd the What you set? give it? Oh, I gave it a 2.5. I would actually watch that again, but... I, like I said... With all the movies I have, I'm, I'm good. I watched it. It was a good one-time watch. It wasn't... Nothing really, really good. We watched... And I won't spoil it, but... We watched two films yesterday that were really suspenseful. That literally... Marie ripped the nail polish off of her nails. How suspenseful! I'm they like, were. I'm so, like breathing heavy the whole time. I'm like, this is super suspenseful. Yeah, I'm just but this at my one nails. was okay. It wasn't. It didn't really grab me. It was just like, uh, eh, it was alright kind of film. But now I like the two that we watched yesterday. Oh my god! I'm like, how can you watch this? Oh yeah, but these is everything that. That's a sloppy stack. That's a sloppy Joe <laughs> flat a stack. It's all there. Right there. A couple of slips. No slips. Some DVDs. Some Blu-rays. Oh, a little um, bit of everything. that Prophecy movie has that Blockbuster case. Yep. So if you like Blockbuster cases. With the security. Prophecy color. is the one for you. <laughs> but anyway, if you like this video, hit yeah. the like button. If you didn't like it, videos before and after. If you want to leave a comment down below about any of these titles, start typing away. If you want to look in the description, you'll see my Instagram as well as Marie's Instagram and my email. If you're interested in buying any of the titles that we showed, let me know. Hit one of us up and I'll give you a really good price mm -hmm. and I'll ship it off to you. But One man's trash is another man's treasure. Exactly. But until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Until next month.